Good morning and welcome to Monday, April the 27th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger, coming to you from the Friendship Room of Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School here in Saginaw, Michigan. And behind me you see the reminders of the reason for the hope we have, even in days of global pandemics and just the different way we are living our lives right now. We are reminded of the hope that is ours because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. The Christmas poinsettias behind me and the Easter lilies remind us of this truth. God so loved the world. He sent his son to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all of our sins. And the scarlet color of the Christmas poinsettia reminds us the blood of Jesus that was poured out on the cross for all sinners. So that the Easter lily reminds us through his triumphant resurrection that sacrifice of Jesus has cleansed us. Though we are, our sins are as scarlet. They shall be as white as snow. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. What joy in Jesus we have this day, the beginning of a new week. Let me share with you these words from Romans chapter 8 as we begin this day with this word of God and devotion. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, persecution or famine, or nakedness or danger or sword? No, because in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. These words from Romans 8, beginning at verse 35. The di disaster begins by painting a picture of words we find ourselves using at different times of the year, different parts of our world, even in different parts of our country. How many of these sound familiar? St. Paul presents in these words from Romans 8 quite a list of disasters, whether they come in the form of tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword. These are the things we experience in times of illness and the distress caused by illness. Times of famine when crops fail and, and we wonder where the food will come from. Losses of employment that bring even more risk and worry to our lives over how we can even pay the next set of bills that are probably coming in the mail. The nakedness we experience by not being clothed with the certainty in the face of storms and floods that take away material possessions. These disasters and many others may be something that in your own way you are enduring right now, especially in the midst of this global pandemic. And maybe enduring these creates the sense of fear and wondering what awaits us all in the near and distant future. So Paul begins his list with a brilliant question given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? The list of disasters Paul included is not designed to frighten us. It serves as the backdrop to highlight the love of Jesus our Savior who faced the ultimate disaster for us. For the sake of our salvation, Jesus Christ was betrayed, arrested, condemned, stripped of his clothing, and nailed to a cross. He suffered hunger, he suffered thirst, he died and his body was sealed in a tomb. The world and the powers of evil did their worst to him in the form of distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, and sword. Jesus suffered all these for us in those last hours. Yet on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. He shattered the powers of sin, of death, of the devil. The powers of evil did their worst, but Jesus rose from the dead and overcame it all. He conquered, so in him we conquer. The victory won in his crucifixion, death, and resurrection is our victory. In baptism, we share in his death, we share in his burial, and we share in his resurrection. Romans 6 verse 4 says, We were buried therefore 
with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. The victory is already won. We are more than conquerors. And that's the kind of conqueror Jesus is for us. And that is what we are through faith in Jesus. Even though at times we are overwhelmed, we overcome. We are conquerors through him who loves us. So the long list of disasters that I read before are all things that can at times threaten us and might even try to tear us away from that relationship we have with God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But these words given to St. Paul remind us that even death cannot separate us from the love of God. Life and all that it holds for us the spiritual powers of evil and the evil in the world cannot overcome it. Whatever is happening in your life today, whatever happens in your life tomorrow, nothing can separate you or me. Nothing can separate the faithful from the love of God and the conquering power he brings to us. No height, no depth of despair, nothing can separate us. For we're reminded in Psalm 139, beginning at verse 8, If I ascend to the heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I take to the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand holds me. Your right hand, your powerful right hand holds me. Again, nothing in this world, nothing in this day, no fear can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. This conquering strength does not depend on the grasp, but on the grip of our crucified and risen Savior. We are not called to understand all of these mysteries. We are called to believe by faith what we cannot understand. As Jesus gave us the absolute words of confidence, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. You see behind me the poinsettias and the Easter lilies. Through the blood of Jesus shed that cleanses you from all sin. Through faith in him you are a child of God. Nothing can harm you as a child of God. You will never face any temptation, any fear alone. Nothing can separate you this day from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in your death and resurrection, you have conquered. And through faith in your holy name, we are conquerors. When we are threatened and frightened by the times around us, we face all of these disasters, we face these threats, we face these fears, strengthened and encouraged above all by the promises of your words. We trust the way you hold us in the palm of your hand. The loving arms of you, dear Jesus, are good shepherd. And in your arms, nothing can separate us from your love. Bless and keep us this day as we never face these fears alone, but we share them with one another. We pray for one another. We reach out to one another. We are good Samaritans to all around us. And in that life, that relationship of love for each other, we get to share the strength of the faith you've given us, the hope that is ours. May it be for every child, every adult, the greatest source of strength for this day our hope that is in Jesus because you so love the world. You so loved us that you sent Jesus to be our Savior. So bless all those who are serving in our community today. Bless those whose lives are at greater risk than our own. Those that serve in our stores throughout our community, first responders, and all medical professionals. Bless and keep them as they do serve in harm's way. They are your messengers, your servants, but we too are here to serve 
the needs of our family, our friends, all those around us. Bless and keep us as we pray for all who are in authority. Bless them with wisdom, with strength, with courage. Bless them with the ability to see your way and will that leads us out of this global pandemic into a greater life of strength and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together these faith-filled words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and in Jesus give you peace. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen.